Part 3 Prime Factorization You will find this on page 7 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. I will first explain to you method 1, then go through the theory, then I will explain to you method 2. Now, if I asked you, write 72 as the product of its prime factors. So the first thing, use the prime numbers as divisors. So let's look. Prime numbers. Now, let's start with the first prime number. That will be 2, followed by 3, then 5, then 7, not 9, then 11, and so you can go on. Now, if I ask you to write 72 as the product of its prime factors, then I will start with the first prime number. So start with the smallest one and continue as many times as possible. What does that mean? So start with 2. 72 divided by 2 will be 36. But I see it ends on an even number, so 2 can again divide into 36. So 36 divided by 2 will be 80. Again an even number, so I can use again 2. So 18 divided by 2, that will be 9. Now, it's not an even number, so, and then divide by the next divisor. So the next divisor will be 3. So I continue with 3. 3, and then 3, and it goes in one time. Continue this process until you obtain a 1. Now, I take these numbers, and I just write it as the product of that numbers. So I basically write all these divisors and I just put a multiplication sign in between. And I call this the factor form. Now, if I want to take this and I want to write it in another form, index notation, I can do it as follows. I just count how many twos. One, two, three. How many threes? One, two. And that will be index notation. Now, let's go through the theory. Prime factorization is finding which prime numbers multiply together to give the original composite number. So, which prime numbers multiply together to give the composite number of 72? Now, let's take another example. Consider a composite number, for example, 12. So let's take 12 and do exactly the same. Start using your prime numbers as divisors. So 2 can go in to 12 six times. Continue with 2, 3. Now move on to the next one, 3. And start, continue this process until you obtain a 1. So that will be 2 times 2 times 3. And again, don't forget that we will call this factor form after we did um, prime factorization. And this, 2 to the power of 2 times 3, we will call index notation. And that's what I showed you there. There, I took 12, I, I did prime factorization, and I wrote it in factor form, and then I wrote it in index notation. But we say that 2 and 3, let's look, 2 and 3 are the prime factors of 12. So the prime factors of 12 is just what prime numbers did you use. But the process of expressing 12 as the product of its prime factors is called prime factorization of 12. Now, I want to show you the other method. 
This was repeated division, and method two will be factor trees. Let's just create space. So again, let's take 72 and let's do the other method. So I take 72 and I split the number into pairs of factors, meaning I look what two numbers multiply to give me 72. We can start with 2. So 2 times 36 will give me 72. Now, I look at the two factors. If the factor is a prime number, look, a prime number, I put a circle around it. Now, 36 is not a prime number, so let's continue with 36. We can use again 2. 2 times what is 36? 2 times 18. Now again, do you see that this is 2 is again a prime number? Now let's take 18. We can say 2 again, and we can say 9. 2 is a prime number. 9 is not a prime number, so we split it again. 3 times 3. And both of them will be prime numbers. So basically, if we rewrite it, we can say it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And we call this again factor form. And if we write it in index notation, we will count how many 2's. 1, 2, 3, 2, two to the power 3. Count how many 3's. 1, 2, and we call this index notation. And if you look at method 1, you will see it gives you exactly the same answer in method 2. Method 1's answer, method two, 2's answer. You can use any of these two methods to do prime factorization. In part 4, we will look at a few examples and then we will do it with method 1 as well as with method 2.